Welcome back to the Vans US Open of Surfing. It's time for semi-final number two. Sage Erickson taking on her longtime friend. They're friends on land, but not in the water. It's all about competition. And Courtney Conlog and Sage have known each other their whole life. in finals, so game on. Courtney got a wave during the break to kick this one off, bro. Courtney starting things off early. The first dagger in this heat. So Courtney finding inside connection, got the speed, got the wherewithal, throws the fins out. So watching this now. Courtney first turn. Just to get a turn out the back before it goes real soft. She's made the transition to the reform a million times in her life. She'll float the section on the inside corner. And now Sage. Solid wrap and she'll continue to fade. Still essing her way into this inside corner. A fun looking section. Sage belts it but can't Ooh, hang on. Critical on the inside section to harness a big score. But here Sage Erickson electing for a forehand. So her first crack in the semi-final. Okay, so two turns out the back. Nothing substantial. But here on this inside section, she knows she has to go for broke. And then the nose just spearing in to that inside section great turn out the back for Courtney watch how easy she makes this transition a lot of time there's a lot of downtime a lot of tapping the board but here going for the float it did look there are so many things that can kind of sidetrack you here Courtney's up now already with her lead her last score of 5-2-3 nothing will change with that just up and down Courtney's always the favorite to win that one out in West Oz as we look at Sage digging in pretty hard on the first section. She'll recover down the line. Still has a ton of speed to burn. So she'll swing it next to the pier. Quick little fade once again. So she's super active on this wave. Flying through the flats, jams it, and a big combination to finish. Sage rides out. Wow, that wave was a gift. That was so well done. Sage almost lost it on that first bottom turn. You can tell on her face as she was paddling for that wave. See that look on her face, this excitement. This right here could have been a mistake for Sage, but she rectifies that by just going straight up on her backhand. We've been mentioning that backhand weapon has been working so well for her. Redirect there. I love that decision to keep a tidy in the pocket and then comes through to the inside for this hammer. So Sage Erickson is about to lock in a huge score. And then also Courtney Conlog getting involved. Yep, Courtney Conlog right out the back. She can probably hear the cheers from the beach. Not to be outdone, she finds a piece of water to work with. Is this going to better the pack of fives that she has right now? I don't think so. Heat, and she wasn't able to put up a solid number. And here you can just tell that she's learned from those instances. She wants to hammer it home. She knows that this is her best opportunity to get a beautiful number on the board. So. Sage Erickson staying lively throughout this wave and then this last section over here rides it out a 7.5. She was on road to try to re-qualify back in Portugal and she's come a long way. Courtney's up now. First turn solid and she just wants to get this inside to double up. Little layback to start on the inside. Another snap finish that high score you wonder what you need to do to gather the same number of points Courtney knows exactly what moves to put down and where to place them so opting for this layback right here just dipping that arm in getting the rail engaged the Waz was saying Sage got active during the break here let's see what happened Rosie Ooh, connection with that oncoming section on her back and I'm sure she would have wanted to laid into that one a little bit more but finding the redirect in this inside section so like Strider said early heats with Sage and Lakey as we look at this one nice wind up solid first turn for Conlog looking for a big reform option she needs a 7.11 and she'll just redirect a forehand car, but she loses the rebound. Ooh, you don't often see Courtney Conlog making mistakes, and I feel like that was one right there, just not finishing that rebound from the cutback. 
This turn right here, she kind of drifts the tail too, so that was really cool. And then the carve, and then all setup work to make that double up connection. See, she's looking right, goes into the cutty, decides that she wants to hammer it home. So, a little bit of a surfers are the ones that really take a lot of the space up just because they want to come down and watch finals day. Watching Sage leaving her position out the back, so using priority. Five early. Let's see what happened here. Sage Erickson on that right pier ball. Since we saw that helped out Toledo earlier this morning. Watching this left one more time. Well, this looks like that wave that she used her priority on. Looks like she held off Courtney Conlog. So it's up to Courtney if she wants this left. Conlog looking for the lead. First turn, throws it vertically. Needs a 7.11, and she'll end up going down. Wow. With priority, paddling hard into this wave, so Courtney doesn't have a chance. And she ends up in her first CT final of her career as Erickson will take on Tatiana Weston Webb later on today. That is huge. Well done to Sage Erickson. She has just taken this one away from Courtney Conlog. Beautiful surfing. I think we're going to see her even kick it up into high gear for the final against Tatiana Weston Webb.